We are back here on Girl Talk. Yes, <laughs> our <fun>. favorite <laughs> guys are here. Oh, Sean and Ian. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having us. Custom audio video. We're talking about something way past my pay grade today. No. What are we? Yeah, well, I'm learning. I know enough to be dangerous. <laughs> what are we talking about today? We're talking about streaming. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so, video, audio, uh, streaming is something that's kind of become a force in mm -hmm. the world. Uh, it's literally just kind of getting media over the internet. And it was funny because I asked you today, what does that really mean? I think it's a term a lot of us use, but I wonder how many of us really understand. Like yeah. I said, it's just magic. You know, you, you probably heard the, the, the phrase cord cutting. Mm -hmm. and, and people kind of go, yeah, I'm fed up with cable. I'm fed up with satellite. Is there any other option? Well, this is the option. Okay. That really puts it in perspective. Yeah. So instead of downloading a file like you would on your computer, streaming is literally just kind of getting that file in real time and okay. watching it. All right. Uh, so you're not actually downloading a movie or, or audio, mm -hmm. it's just kind of coming over the internet and Do enjoying it. Do most anything stream? Are there certain applications that stream? I don't know the right word. Like I know you've got YouTube, Prime Video, Netflix. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can see this is a, a Sony TV with their smart uh, operating system, and you can kind of see a lot of the options here. Okay. Netflix, uh, Prime Video, which is Amazon, YouTube, Google. Um, I mean, there's just so much content that you can stream wow. without uh, without having any kind of other device other than just the internet and a smart TV nowadays. And so, can you do music too, or is it strictly um, video? So you can do music, and there are music um, applications within TVs as well, but it really doesn't make any sense to use a TV just to stream audio. Got it. Obviously, it's meant for video. So there are specific devices that, that, we, that we have that will do various things like Pandora. Oh, um, Spotify? Yeah, Spotify, mm -hmm. Tidal, all mm -hmm. these kind of things. So there's different yeah. devices that we use for that too. How does that work? Well, that's similar way. Yeah, so no, we've got a couple yeah, let's here. see, let's see. So, mm -hmm. for instance, what I'm holding here is a, a wireless speaker. If you want to hold it there, yeah. that one will be able to, uh, that just plugs directly into the wall. Pretty. It connects to your internet, mm -hmm. and it's a whole speaker. Uh, and then you can stream music from your phone to this or from some of the, uh, the applications that Ian was talking so about. So, but Spotify. I can do it to the TV too? Uh, this one, it connects to the TV. This that would be purely for music. Oh, so yeah. I would do it from my phone or from. Something like that. Yeah. Right. I'm surprised at how um, attractive that is because, mm -hmm. heaven forbid, you know, designers, we're a little yep. picky, if yeah, you I will. Yeah, I think so. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So one of the other options, that, that's, that has the speaker in it and everything, so that's a standalone piece. Okay. One of the other options is something like this that has connections on the back that would go to your own speakers or speakers Got that it. maybe are in the ceiling or something like that. Okay. So this actually just acts as the streaming device but then has an amplifier in it that outputs to, to the speakers. So you really don't have to see this. This is attractive. It, it will be right. visible because it is a speaker. Uh, you don't have to see this at all. It can be in, in, in a closet. It can be in a cabinet and hide out the way. All right, keep talking me through yeah. this one because I'm still not quite sure. So I'm streaming my music and I'm gonna do that with a couple of devices. Mm -hmm. Okay, this device is, I'm gonna plug in the wall. I'm gonna turn my phone on and hook up Spotify or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. right. And it just gives me a much more rich and deep sound. Well, <clears throat> think about it this way as kind of two options. There's a lot of homes around here that have uh, speakers in the ceiling yes. that are installed and maybe they're running to a closet somewhere that for years has had a CD player in it. Okay, okay, um, I'm getting it. But, mm -hmm. and so you'd replace the CD player and the amplifier with something like this. Got it. That you're gonna yeah. wirelessly send music to that's then gonna power to those speakers. All right, so here's my other question. And that is, for people who really don't know what they need, what mm -hmm. do you recommend or what do you need them to do when they come in? How can you get them what they need? Is there information mm -hmm. that would help you? Well, you know, the internet's a great thing. Obviously, we have these streaming apps that come from the internet, but you can research on the net as well. Okay. So it's always good to have a look at, you know, different options. Uh, just put in streaming when you search on Google and see what comes up and then make some notes, come in, talk to us about various options and we can say, oh yeah, you know, you want to stream this. Okay. If it's video, then that app is available within the TV. If it's audio, then that particular app is available in one of these PCs. Talk to me yeah. about master plans. When, when you're talking about these, are, would these be considered add-ons? 
do you look at these as independent? In other words, if someone, if I don't have, if I'm trying to be more cost effective mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I just want the best I can get right now, I want to do more down the line. How do you, how does all that work? Yeah, I, I would say if we're, if we're starting and we can, we can get like in-ceiling speakers. Yes. Uh, going that route is a very good option because okay. those speakers are going to be there. They're going to work. Uh, you may have to change this out every you know couple years, every Got few it. years, but those speakers are going to be good for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, this is more of a solution of I'm already in the home; it doesn't have speakers, uh, but I want to get sound in a bunch of different rooms. Right. This is a great option for that, yeah. uh, or something like this. And the other thing with devices like this is they are connected to the internet. The Manufacturers of these always do upgrades. So if a particular audio app on this or a video app in a TV isn't available through that manufacturer right now, maybe in six months time, they'll do an upgrade and that app will then be available. So you don't necessarily have to change this piece out. Got there it. There may be an upgrade that's done through firmware that then gives you the ability to, to stream something else. How do you all keep up with all of the changes? It seems to me that it is basically changing every day, mm -hmm. something new. Yeah, you know, we have lots of good vendors who give us information through okay. email. We have various... Um, associations that we're members of that mm -hmm. give us information and we can always do what I just said a minute ago. Exactly. Search Google Internet and, you know, exactly. stuff like that as well. I, I, I tell you, Sean, you guys are great. You and Ian are really fun. I learn something every time and we appreciate your time and let us letting us come here. It's great. Yeah, we want to thank, thank all you. of you for joining us here on Girl Talk. Have a great week. Bye-bye.